So today I'm gonna go out in the garden and do something I've been meaning to do, um, not just this season, but for a couple seasons now. Well, I don't know, maybe like four, four years <laughs> I've been meaning to do this. Uh, so <clears throat> I put in a garden around our wood pile and I just like threw a bunch of clearance plants in there and didn't really have a plan for it, like a rhyme or reason to the way I did it. I They were just on clearance and I needed somewhere to put them for that year and so that's where they ended up around the wood pile. Well, I planned on, you know, eventually moving them to their permanent homes when I dug out, when I was working on digging out all of that that used to be all woods and I dug it out um, but as this grew in it kind of looked really nice how I just plopped it in so I was like oh I'll leave it there but there's a few plants that you can't really see anymore because there's hosta in here and they've kind of grown up so I'll show you what I'm talking about so this is the area I'm talking about around my wood pile like I said I just plopped all these plants in here I got on clearance these are whirlwind hosta, I believe. That is an easy elegance rose that I keep telling you guys I'm gonna find the tag for. Um, it has just been blooming all season long, and I mean all season long since spring. There is a penstemon in there, and it's kind of blooming again, and I didn't even cut this one back because I, I like looking at these spent blooms here. The back of it is in fact a bunch of just plants Oh, did you see this chipmunk <laughs> making an appearance as always? Uh, so yeah, I I got some whirlwind hosta in here. I believe that's Captain Kirk. Another pensamen over here. I did have another rose, I think, but it it died out because I don't think it got enough sun. There are a few Rebecca popping up that kind of just seeded themselves in here, but. I've got these really pretty, uh, I don't know if it's wildberry uh, heuchera or if it's wild rose. It's hard for me to tell the difference between those two unless they're right next to each other. So they look similar in color. But anyway, I have another one of those right back here. You can't even see it. It's like just hiding, it's a waste. And I have another one right back here <laughs> and for not getting any sunlight they do pretty good just hiding in here but it's time I move them to another home where they can be seen for how beautiful they are I was thinking about putting them over here uh, so I planted up oh I got I gotta tell you about these too you guys don't let me forget. I was wanting to maybe put them in these two planters. <laughs> I had impatience, beacon impatience in these two planters. Um, they were this color right here and they were looking really good. They were starting to bloom, like they were already blooming. Like they had, they were nice and big and putting on tons of blooms. Then I came out here, I don't know, a couple days ago, and this one was completely eaten off. They didn't take the plants out. Plants are still in there. there. You can see they're starting to grow back little tiny, tiny ones. They just completely ate it. They, I don't know who they is. I don't know if it's, I'm assuming it's probably the raccoon. I don't know. It's, it's weird. It's very strange to me because they don't, Whoever did it didn't eat any of my other impatience, so I'm just kind of, I don't know, at a loss. So anyway, they did it to that one, so I came out here and I noticed it right away because that one was completely hacked back, and that one had really pretty plants in it still. And then yesterday I came out here and noticed they did it to this one too. They hacked it right off. So. I thought, well, geez, I, you know, I jam-packed that planter full of plants. Maybe I'll take take some from there and 
and put them in here and I thought no I'm just gonna leave that and I'm gonna go grab those wild berry or wild rose heuchera and put those in those planters I think that's what I'm gonna do let's see what else did I want to do oh yes so let's go over here now this bed back here is like um, the beginnings of me kind of creating another like gully garden kind of I want to do what I did up there and clean out the woods and do it back here as well uh, so this is like I said kind of the beginnings of that it's like a super duper hodgepodge right now because these are all clearance plants and just plants that I've um, you know separated dug up and separated like hastas or whatever uh, so this is like a work in progress um, there are a few plants in here though that are just really struggling and I need to move them before they stay in here any longer. This is Obsidian uh, Heuchera. I had five of them in here and you can see there's one there and it's just, I don't know, I would, it's pretty much dead. I mean there is some life to it but it get, they get way too much sun here. The Obsidian is one of my favorite Heuchera and it's supposed to have like this really pretty shiny black leaf. I have one up by the house, I'll show you in a second. But these just get way too much sun and they do not like it here at all. So I'm gonna move them. I had five, but I can see, I think I had one right there, that one's gone. I don't know, that one is even worth digging up. Maybe I, you know what, I am. I'm gonna, because when I take away those nasty leaves, they're still, these are still healthy. So I'm gonna dig that up. There's four of them. Two decent sized ones and two little ones. I'm gonna dig those up, find a different home for them. I think I'm gonna get my, <clears throat> just my little shovel. Uh, it's much easier to, but those Hupera aren't very big. And I love this shovel. My husband like laughed at me when I bought it. He's like, what the heck are you gonna do with that little thing? I'm like, just, let me show you. Let me show you what I'm about to do. I came outside because it's better light out here, but I want to show you the difference in how small this little spade is. So this is, you know, just, I love this shovel too right here. Don't get me wrong. But this is the difference. It's just, you know, about half the size. But this one is so good for just like digging out little, you know, perennials and uh annuals and stuff like that and it doesn't make like a huge giant mess and dig up with a ton of extra soil it, would, it just sticks to your little plant that you want to dig out so i love this one for that and let's grab me like a <clears throat> bucket or something okay grab this hopefully there's no spiders on it <clears throat> there is really good idea guys what do you think okay so just a, like about five ten minutes ago I walked by these little carex and as you can tell um, they look a little different and I said 
don't let me forget. You didn't let me forget. Because <laughs> I just remembered um, to tell you something cool about this. So, no kidding you, uh, I, I made a movie and I said, you know what? I think it was in like a tour movie. And I came through here and I was like, you guys, this is driving me nuts. When I bought these three Carex, they, um, ooh, <laughs> bug. Oh, bugs galore. When I bought these three Carex, they were on clearance, obviously, and they all had the same tag in them and they looked similar because they were kind of ratty looking and I was like, okay, sweet, yay, I'll take all three. Well, now I planted them and, and obviously these two are different here than this one. And one of you told me what they what the varieties were, which thank you, I gotta go back and look that up. But I didn't even post that video yet. And then the next day, my mom, she had come over and she had given me some, a bunch of heuchera and some other plants. And she brought me Carex. And it's one of these two. I wanna make all three of the same kind right here. Well, I have extras, cause she bought me like four of them. So I was thinking it might be kind of cool these heuchera in here they're not filling out the whole pot quite yet i could put a carex in with it i don't know we could try it I let's mean, try it. it looks really pretty and i absolutely love it but if i slide it over i don't want to get them too squishy because this will eventually fill this out but i could put a little carex in there and like or well maybe i'd put it this way because I don't want it to be too similar to this Ben Vernoy hasta, but let's go grab some and see what it looks like. Guys, I have all these plants I gotta plant, but she gave me so Evergold, and I'm pretty sure one of you said that one of my carrots over there were Evergold, and my mom got me four of them, I think. Wait, no, one, two, three, four, five. She got me five of them. And um, the, cool, like the cool thing is, she didn't even see my movie yet. She had bought them for me before she even seen my movie. So that was pretty cool. Okay, oh my gosh, I think that one, right? Let me see be perfect because yeah don't you guys think that looks more like that instead of that this is more like a yellowy I'm gonna replace that one with that one for sure um and then let's see what these two look like with my heuchera I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plant one of these pots up with the carex and then I'm gonna plant one without it just the heuchera and we'll see which one we like better I go out walking after midnight in the starlight Just hoping maybe you're somewhere walking after midnight Searching for me Should I put this on? I think I should put this on this side because this is similar color to my bench And then the carrot is similar, you know, more similar color to my boxwood So we'll put this on this side I feel like I love this in here together. It just needs something else. So, you know, I could go dig up like one impatient and put it right there. Because that looks really pretty. But this looks really pretty on its own too. I just think this one looks better than the other one would look because the other one is so much smaller. Yeah, let's go find some impatience that aren't really doing much where they're at and we'll slide them in there and we'll slide another carex in there okay here's another thing i want to do it's like a backwards puzzle <clears throat> sometimes gardening you're like oh i want to do this but first i have to do this before that i have to do this um look at my grass is growing in pretty good 
these must have fell what I want to do is okay <laughs> you guys we're getting so sidetracked but so I was doing an experiment with these impatiens in the Sun and they're actually doing a lot better than I thought they look pretty similar to the ones that are in the shade um, and I also have some right here but that rose right there is a climbing rose and I just I don't think it gets enough Sun um, it is a little bit more shaded uh, for a longer period of time because of this tree right here so I was thinking I want to move it to this side and in order to do that I'm gonna have to move a couple impatience so let's grab these two impatience here and we'll put them in our pot I love it and I know I'm taking a chance with whoever ate my other impatience to come back and have a snack but it's fine it looks so pretty thank you mom for the care X praise the Lord for this beautiful sky Okay, next up, we're gonna go uh, grab that Obsidian Euchara. And <clears throat> before I dig it up, I wanna show you guys what it's supposed to look like. Right here, super black and shiny. And then, so this is like an older aged leaf. Uh, the new ones that emerge are a little bit more rosier colored. And then, like I said, as they age, they turn like a deeper, purple and then they almost turn to like a black and it's similar to primo black pearl except for the leaves are like or the the edges of the leaves here are softer they have softer edges it looks like it's struggling you know like all of this coloring in here that's not supposed to be that color it's supposed to be just like a really pretty deep uh black color purple black color and the new leaves that emerge do just fine but then I think once it gets so much heat and sunlight it just struggles and then I notice they start browning up like this so these are going to benefit from a new location. baby ones uh they have quite the root system on them so it's like they want to survive they want to make it but man I'm just not really doing them any favors so I think they're going to be really happy once I move them but my gosh look at the root system on that like I even some of my really nice you girls don't even have a good root system like that so oh, I'm sorry little buddy we'll give you a nice good home
this is real life gardening. This is what I do. I don't, I just kind of sit here for a minute and like stare off into space and think about where I'm gonna put them. Cause I, I'm not opposed to moving them again once I get them in the spot I get them and then if they don't do good there, I'll move them again, no big deal. But um, I like to put them <laughs> in one spot and leave them so i just this is what i do i just kind of sit here and think and stare off into space i do have more planters i could put them in planters my heucheros seem to do really good in planters but this is just what i do i'm like trying to decide and yeah but so i'm just gonna sit here and think for a second and then uh we'll come back on i think i found a spot I know they don't look like much now, but like I said, I feel like they'll do better right here. These two were obviously the bi the biggest and nicest ones, so I put the little tinier ones in there. But man, the root system on those little guys were just thriving. So the plant that is above the ground hopefully will be much happier in this spot. We're gonna go dig up that Carex and put that one in the Evergold with its other little brothers there. That looks much better. It doesn't drive me near as nuts. I know it's a lot smaller, but so is the other Carex, and I'd rather have it uh, smaller and the same rather than smaller and not the same. So give it time. That thing will put on some size in no time. And actually, I don't usually even fertilize, but I think I'm gonna go grab a little handful of fertilizer and throw it on there just to give it a little kick start. Um, now, as I'm over here, guys, I'm seeing some more hidden little gems. There's one you can't even see. And then I thought I had another one back here. Yes, there's one you can't even see. Oh, and a third one. Hmm, you could dig those out and find a good spot for them. You could put it right there. One, two, three. That might be kind of pretty. Um, let's do that. I really love that there. I think it needed just a pop of an orangey Color. We have all the other colors you can imagine, and I think they'll do a lot better here. So, yeah. And I, again, I think I might go get some fertilizer and throw it on these plants just because they've, man, they've been fighting the good fight for so long where they were, and it's probably time for me to feed them. And pretty soon here, I'm gonna get out here and hack back these bleeding heart. They're starting to look a little shabby. Okay, I think we moved all the heucro we need to move. We ended up with this uh, really pretty looking Carex here. And now we gotta find a spot for this little guy. I'm just gonna do some thinking again on where I'm gonna put this. So what I usually do is I literally just like stare off into the, into the abyss and like just think. And what I'm thinking about is, um, you know, different color, pattern, texture, and shine. Uh, I think I, I told you guys, uh, I used to watch this show called Trading, oh no, that wasn't it, what was it? What Not to Wear. 
and uh, the lady on there, her name was Stacy Clinton. No, the guy's name is Clinton. <laughs> the guy's name was Clinton, and the girl's name was Stacy. Anyway, in order to put like the perfect outfit together, you gotta have color, pattern, texture, and shine. And I don't necessarily use that in my outfit picking out, but I kind of use that in my garden. And so when I'm just thinking, I'm not just like mindless, you know drifting off thinking i'm actually thinking like okay this is a very specific texture this grass very specific color uh it stays lower to the ground this right here could probably make a really dull spot shine so right now i'm kind of looking for really kind of darker green uh pastas or like a spot that's a little dingy and dark and if i pop this baby in there wabamo there's your shine and te actually texture too. Look at all the texture in that. That's what I'm looking for right now. I'm gonna come back at you when I am done thinking and I'll tell you what spot I find. Another thing that happens as I'm thinking here, I wanted to show you, sometimes I get tempted to just throw it in an open spot if I find one, um, but I'm not gonna do that because although this would look really pretty up next to that blue, it doesn't stand out as much um, because of this Lysabachia. So that would be, you know, an okay spot to put it next to the purple and blue, but we already have that color here. So we're kind of getting our effect already with like purple, blue, green, and yellow, um, and you know, different textures. So although I'm tempted to throw it in there because I just have an open spot, that might have been a nice spot to put like an annual. But I think I want to put it over in this area back here. So do you see how that area doesn't have any really shine in it? Watch what happens when I just kind of poke this into the camera. See how pretty that is? And it doesn't have this texture in there. So let's pop it right here. Just kind of you have to imagine that it's planted. I mean, that would really do wonders for that spot. Or I could put it right there. I do have some struggling impatience in that spot, but I can move those. Let's see what it looks like there. That looks pretty cool. And then another option is, <laughs> you guys, I could split it. This guy is pretty big. I could split it into two chunks or even three chunks. Let me mess around with it and see what I come up with. Okay guys, after staring at it for about two and a half minutes, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna split it into three chunks. This, I'm gonna split this carex into three chunks. And I'm gonna put one here, there, and there. And, but in order to put one here, I'm gonna have to move this impatient. <laughs> so, um, yeah, let's just do it and I'll show you. This is how like nuts my brain is, but this is this is how I have fun in my garden. It's just like being creative and you can move anything you want. Nothing is permanent. I mean, unless it's like a tree or something. But even so, if you get it young enough, you could probably move your tree too. If you don't like something in your garden and it's not um, doing what you thought it was gonna do for you, just move it around, try something different. You know, you might have to wait from year to year to kind of like give it a break if you're moving it a lot, but I'm just gonna show you what I'm, how I'm gonna kind of transform this little area here with this little pop of shine. I just love how much uh, color, I mean really color, pattern, texture, and shine, you guys, that these three Carex brought. So I just wanna encourage you, like think outside of the box and just use your imagination. I know sometimes we get out in our garden and um, maybe we only have a certain amount of time or space or, or whatever, you fill in the blank. But just be patient and just really think about it. Try to be creative, think outside of the box. Look out in your garden and just kind of 
take an inventory of what's looking good and what's not looking the greatest and you know oh maybe if I move that to a different spot where I uh, it gets more sunlight like let's see if it does a little bit better um, but anyway I just obviously I'm like really excited right now that this worked out but I just think that added uh, just so much shine to that little area that was a lot of uh, plant rescuing and rehoming and I'm really really hoping they love their new homes I'm pretty sure they will but you never know <laughs> You really don't. It's a, gardening is always a mystery. But I'm gonna get my water uh, out here and we're gonna get some water on those plants. And um, you know what, I am gonna grab some fertilizer. Like I said, I know a lot of you asked me if I fertilize my plants. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you guys, like I really don't. <laughs> I just don't. I mean, why, they do fine without fertilizer. So like why spend the extra money? And I'm just, I'm just gonna use whatever I have. I have Biotone uh, Start of Fertilizer. I've got Rose Tone. I've got some, if, if I do use uh, fertilizer, I do love these tones. I got Bulb Tone. Um, and what else I have? Garden Tone. But I'm just gonna grab one of them. Probably the Rose Tone because that's what I have the most of. <laughs> I don't know, you guys, you're probably just like, Ooh! You're gonna just randomly use rose tone on some a bunch of eucara. Yep, <laughs> that's exactly what I'm gonna do, and they're gonna love it, and they're gonna be beautiful. So, uh, this is this is what I do, <laughs> and it works for me. might go take a little uh, stroll back up and look at everything that we just uh, rescued um, and gave a new spot so let's go take a look at all the great things we just accomplished and then I'll say bye so first we ended up grabbing some invisible beautiful heuchera and putting them up here in a couple pots where somebody ate the impatience out we'll get up there in a second but we took these upside in. So there's two there and a couple that are struggling, but they're gonna do really great, I think, right here. We popped them in there. Over here, we took out a mismatched Carex and planted one that my mom gave me that is the same as that one. It's called Evergold, I believe. Um, back here, there were three Heuchera that were hiding and we went ahead and put them right there. So now you can see them. They're beautiful. And they look a little run down because I just watered them, but they'll pop right back. And then those ones we found at the wood pile, we popped in here with a couple more Carex that my mom gave me. And then we pulled an impatient from a spot that I'm gonna, I was planning on moving them anyway and do the same over here. Uh, this is kind of looking ratty, but it's because I just watered it. Should be fine. We also filled up my bird bath while we're at it. Man, those birds just have a heyday in this sky. As soon as I leave down here, they're gonna attack it. We put some water in this. It's looking beautiful. And then we went ahead and moved a couple impatiens around, split up that carex that we dug up from the mismatch into three little chunks and just kind of shined up this area here. There's some texture, color, 
pat really pattern too. There's a pattern on those pretty leaves and shine. And I think that's all we did. I do see some more things that I want to move, but I'm pretty sure this movie is probably getting way too long. <laughs> so bless your heart if you're still watching at this point. But um, I do have some things I want to move. This little corner right here is like just pea stone, and um, I kind of made it tried to make it stand out a little bit, but that still be just like took it upon itself to grow right there. I I didn't plant it there. I'm not sure what happened, but I've been wanting to move it for a while, but there's a couple other things I want to move to, like this ligularia, which actually looks, this is the best it's ever looked. It's usually like super sad and droopy. Um, it hates it right there, but I just haven't taken the time to move it. So maybe we'll come back out here and do a part two of find your forever home. <laughs> okay, like I said, if you're still with me, Bless your sweet little heart. I hope that you have a really great day and thank you for watching. Bye.